look. I just snapped about this. Hello? Focus, you fucking whore. They spelt my name right at Starbucks for once. They actually asked me how to spell it. Oh. And I was like, L-I-E. And she put it there. It's spelled correctly. First time in my Starbucks history of ordering from Starbucks. So yeah. Okay, I'm sitting here in a parking lot in front of Academy waiting to get another ping on Uber Eats. I started DoorDash. I actually signed up for DoorDash um, a few days ago. What is it? It's Saturday now? Yeah. Yeah. September 13th. But <clears throat> I recently went to Austin to visit my sisters. It was all my sisters and my sister's friend and and she does DoorDash and was telling me like you need to try DoorDash you need to try it so I did cuz I mean why not um, there's no real like commitment with these kinds of things you can just kind of like do your own thing and that's what I really freaking love so I can try like as many of them as I want to so I signed up my like I'm my heart's racing this shit. This is the only cold brew that they have that actually gives me energy and like makes my heart hurt and I love it. I get uh, I I get the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and add maybe it's because I add white mocha and it like does something to it but it doesn't give me as much energy. I don't know. But anyway, um so yeah, I signed up for DoorDash cuz I I've heard so many things between Uber Eats and DoorDash, like so many opposing opinions about each of them. And um, so I signed up for it. I got my bag. They actually send you a kit with like a red card because sometimes you need to pay for the food when you get to the restaurant with like the little red card that they give you. And then I got a warm bag, which is badass. And they, get, they gave me a little hand sanitizer and a mask, and it was super cute. So that was yesterday. And as soon as I got that in the mail, I signed, I like went on there. And it's not like Uber Eats. Because <laughs> I just expected like to be able to go on there and just start dashing. But they have to like, it said no, not right now, because it wasn't busy or something. And like schedule a time for later. And, um, I had been doing Uber Eats all day that day. So I was like, okay, well it had it, uh, it was like five o'clock at that point and I had to schedule for six o'clock to six thirty for some reason. That's the only times they give, gave me of like a busy time. And so that's what I did. And I was like, okay, well I can take a little break anyway. So once the time came, I got like a ping to go to our like the sandwich place and it was messy as hell I was messy like my first time was messy with uber eats and I was fucking messy this time too with my first one and um it's hard like I don't it's like more difficult to fucking understand because there's all these fucking words and like I don't know it's weird and once I put in once I picked up the ladies food <laughs> I clicked get directions to her go to her place and like it kept saying results not found results not found I'm like are you fucking kidding me so I had to just like uh, remember her address and just put it in my Google Maps real quick but yeah that shit was fucking difficult I don't know maybe I need to give it a chance and just get used to it but for now I'm doing Uber Eats for a hot minute. That was traumatizing. So <laughs> I almost broke a hundred dollars yesterday with Uber Eats. And I was like, if I had gotten on, because I got a late start yesterday. I started at 12. I usually like to start at like 9 or 10. If I had gone on, if I had one more freaking order, I would have broke a hundred. So that's my goal for today. I'm trying to break a hundred. And um, yeah. 
This shit's addicting, man. Every time I get a little notification when the that noise goes off for me to get another order, I get really giddy and it's freaking weird. But yeah, this shit's addicting. It's like, ooh, more money. But yeah, I'm just just wanted to come on here and vlog a little bit. I'm sitting in front of Academy and I just had a Starbucks mozzarella and tomato panini. Shit's so good. And I also brought a little friend with me today. This is a pre-roll. The, the little container's so cute. It's like, I'm keeping this after I am done with it. It's a little, what is this called? Cork? Yeah, it's CBD. It's not like THC. So it's legal. It's legal. But, um, yeah, this is supposed to be a hybrid. It's supposed to keep you focused and stuff. I also have, let's see. I've been smoking, like, I started smoking a lot more. Ugh. I have to tell my daughter not to watch this video because she's going to flip out. But I also have this little shaker thing that I like stole from some random dude's house like seven years ago. <laughs> and I just keep some flour in there with my little one hitter. Also CBD, so it's legal. This one is um, a sativa, 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 sativa. The hyper one, energy one, that I was scared to try because the whole reason I don't smoke marijuana <clears throat> like I used to, because I did used to hella a lot, is because it gives me anxiety now and I don't like it. It like it just turned on me. It gives me anxiety. So that's when I started learning about strains and I have to like start, if I do smoke, I have to smoke indica is that what it's called i don't know what the hell i'm talking about but you get the gist if you know what i'm talking about you get the gist but i need like indica stuff so i stumbled across this uh this girl on tiktok who actually grows uh that shit and um but she grows and she like make CBD shit and like all this type of shit so I went to her website like it's pretty it's really affordable and they have pre-rolls they have like little nugs of flour they have um um like dab type stuff and like just other stuff um they have like little one hitters and shit and I'll put the info like right here it's really cute and um yeah they have like uh, stativa what is it called i hate that I, I might be saying it wrong let me look it up first okay it's sativa and indica <laughs> but um yeah they have little pre-rolls they have a lot of stuff i forgot i just went on there and uh they have like merch and stuff and this the girl is super cute she's so energetic i just love her vibes and that's what like caught my eye in the first place and made me want to try this stuff the first one I ever tried was an indica and it just mellows me out at the end of the night and just relaxes me and then these other ones I kind of just got in the habit of smoking when I'm bored but it does help me focus it makes me feel good but um I swear I don't know if it's like a placebo effect or whatever but I feel like I'm kind of getting a little high off of it too I don't know if they like I don't know how all that works if you can accidentally leave traces of THC in there, but I feel like it kind of is because like I always feel like a little bit litty after I smoke, just the tiniest bit of litty. But <laughs> I probably sound like an absolute dumbass right now, but it's fine. I'm not, I'm no profesh. I'm not a professional. I have the opportunity of being able to go to Colorado soon with my sister to um go just hang out and stuff and i want to try some shit while i'm there and i'm scared but um i'm so excited and if i do get to go i'm so 
vlogging I don't care how awkward everybody looks at me like everybody thinks I'm awkward I don't give a shit like I'm gonna be so pissed at myself if I don't document it for myself but like I'm gonna be getting on a plane which I've never gotten on a plane before I've never been to Colorado and that's it so that's very exciting to think about that that's like in April it's supposed to be in April hopefully I'm freaking hoping I can make it happen so I need to bust my ass and hustle and get some mutt teas coming in thankfully since I did work for more than half of the year at my shitty job I do have an income tax still coming to me this year so that'll help me pay whatever taxes I'm gonna end up having to pay from this job and then put money in my pocket also so just so exciting to think about that's pretty much it i think i don't know i look like jeffrey dahmer in these shades and i love it rawr i'm gonna kill you our freaking halloween spirit store open is open now <laughs> these people keep looking at me talking to myself every time they pass by and that's exciting though because like every we love halloween dude we love halloween who doesn't and i went a little cray and got some halloween decor while we were there Everybody's saying Halloween is canceled this year. You can't cancel a holiday, for one, because holidays happen in your heart. And Halloween is every fucking day for me then, basically. But I told my daughter and my brother and sister, since I basically took, took over taking everybody trick-or-treating for my mom <clears throat> the past few years, I told everybody, I'm like... If people are indeed not allowed to hand out candy, then we can just like dress up and just go walk around neighborhoods. Like who cares? We don't have to trick or treat. Like we can just walk around, show off our makeup, go into random stores, just walk around, show off our shit and just have a blast. And then like go to Walmart the next day and buy a shit ton of cheap candy because everything's going to be like discounted the day after right I don't know but you know there are going to be some of those people that like set out bowls of candy like at the end of the driveway that's like social distancing but take like a few if you want like I, I just feel like that's going to be what happens and then you know there's going to be those fuckers that like the non-maskers that are just like here you go fuck it fuck everybody fuck the government love that too whatever man whatever floats your boat Whatever tickles your pickle. I'll show you the decor. It's only, I, I didn't go too ham. I went ham for like me because Halloween shit is really fucking expensive, you know? I just got three things. I'll show them in a clip later because they're really cute. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm a little bit too freaking chatty right now because of this damn coffee, but... Yeah, I'll check in later. It is now 10 o'clock. We just got back home. She's a very tricky girl. I freaking did it. We made our goal. I made $139 today. Plus that $6 tip. Well, that was with the $6 tip. So, $139 today, bro. For a Sunday. That's great. That's great. That's freaking amazing. So, <sighs> I'm tired. Because it's Sunday, so we can, they don't want to do anything. They just want to chill. No? Oh, let me show you my Halloween decor real quick. Yeah, decor. Ugh, I'm so tired. So, I got this Hocus Pocus, which is brew. And then, I got this for my stove to hold my spoons and whatnot. And my favorite piece is this wreath. Wreath? Reef, wreath, whatever. It's gorgeous. I need to get a wall hook thing so we can hang it up here more instead of down here. But it's gorgeous. So. Mom, just try it. Ow, ow. Fuck. <laughs> what the heck? God. You're just gonna lock me outside like that? Maybe. Hey. Anyway, I'm exhausted um, and I'm debating on even wanting to take a shower tonight <laughs> or just wait until the morning. So. Wait until the morning. I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed the chit chat vlog. Toodles. Super freak.